My top five online dating tips for women. Let's talk. Dating tips for women has been a highly requested topic for myself and I think it's it's a very bold video from my side. It's not something I would ever like talk about on YouTube specifically, but well, here I am. The world is quite crazy. Almost everybody on planet Earth now is half crack anyway. So it's really important for us ladies to really stay safe while we are still out and trying to find somebody meaningful, a great partner to be with, because obviously that's very important. You need a great companionship, a great husband, maybe a fiance, whatever it is that you need. It's healthy to need that. So let's talk about online dating and some tips that might make you feel safe or stay safe. And since it's 2021, I've already said almost everybody's half cycle anyway, so you might have to come across some Toms, Dicks and Harrys before you meet Mr. Big. So anyway, my tip number one would be a very elegant profile. Now, whether you have a profile on social media, you're using social media to meet people and network with people, or whether you are on friendship sites like Bumble or dating sites like Tinder. Well, even though Tinder is not really a good example, I don't recommend you to be there, but let's just go with that example. Even if you're using Snapchat for that reason, which I would recommend to not do, because Snapchat is not a very safe place to talk to anybody anyway, because A, only players use that to meet girls, number one. Number two, the reason is because it's really easy for the chats to obviously just vanish, right? I mean, that's what happens on Snapchat. Things just vanish within, I think, 24 hours, right? So why do you think somebody's trying to make a meaningful relationship with you via Snapchat? Is that what you believe? Then you're very silly. Wake up. Now, whatever platform you may use, make sure your pictures are really nice. Have a close up, you looking very neat and clean. Please have a smile, no duck lips and no pout and no moody face and no resting bridge face. You really have to look fresh, clean, polished, happy, and a healthy person. By healthy, I mean emotionally healthy and mentally healthy. Like that should show on your aura, that should show on your vibe. And yes, pictures do show a lot of your aura. So you have to be really careful with what you post out there, whether it's social media or your dating apps. You have to be really careful with each and every picture. So before you click post, think twice. What is it that you're posting? Does it really look great? Does it really represent you? Is that really how you want to be perceived by others? If yes, go ahead, click post. The clothing that you should be wearing in the pictures should be very tasteful, very classy, very elegant, but very feminine and girly and pretty at the same time. So make sure the selection of colors is very feminine, it's very pretty. With makeup, well, it's your choice. You know, if you have a lot of makeup in your pictures, your choice. If you have just minimal makeup, that's your choice also, but you need to look very neat and polished. So make sure your eyebrows look on point. A good lash always looks cute to guys, trust me. Also make sure your hair is on point because when you have like really nice, shiny, healthy, styled up hair, that gives you like an overall very, like a well done look. You always need to have your hairstyles on point. People will judge you and categorize you on the basis of how your profile pictures look like and what is in the bio and the description. So make sure the bio says very minimalistic things, but very few fun things. You know, you just write like a line about yourself that, you know, you're, you're bubbly, you're classy and you're talkative, something like that. And then just say, my hobbies are maybe like baking a cake or you like to go for a jog every day, or maybe you like to run your dogs outside the house or something. So make it fun. And by the way, talking about pictures, if you choose pictures which show you doing certain activities, like maybe you playing tennis or any sort of sports, that is actually very cute. And it is also very acceptable, okay? Or even if you post pictures with your pets, again, that's really cute. If you have like a cute little cat in the house, post a picture. It shows your true, humane, caring and loving side. So why not? So one or two pictures of you doing different activities out and about, it makes you seem very interesting. And one or two pictures, again, should be kind of like a close up, you know, where the focus is more on your features, your hair, and overall of how neat you look, basically. Everything you post should have a little bit of elegant touch to it. So even if you're posting pictures with your pets, make sure it is not like a crazy pet, like, like a snake pet or something. <laughs> I hope none of you have that, by the way. It just, it could be a little scary for some, you know, especially for the ones who are scared of a snake. 
like I am. Also, can I just say, don't write very harsh and strong opinions on your profiles. I have faced this and I don't want this and I'm not looking for this and blah blah. No, 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 no. Don't put your focus on the negative things, like what you don't want. Focus on the things that you do want, so you will attract more of that, okay? So your profile overall should appear very lively, happy and alive and fun. And if you do show like your fun things, like how girly you are, maybe you having a day at the spa with the girls or maybe having pedicures done, then that is great too. When you show that you are a queen with a healthy mindset, healthy beliefs and healthy boundaries, then you're more likely to attract really healthy individuals also. Also, can I just say, please don't write your exact location in your profiles. Just even if it is just Facebook or Instagram or even if it is your dating profiles, just don't tell the exact location, okay? You don't owe anybody 100% honesty without them even knowing you. The world online could be crazy, you never know. There's a lot of stalkers out there and no matter which country you live in, it's kind of crazy. So keep it safe, okay? Keep yourself safe. Number two, please communicate to build better connections. Now, don't be so quick to cut off anybody who is maybe not replying you within a day. You, you know what I'm saying? Like. You have to let those connections be built a little bit and before you start getting too personal. Like, let them talk to you on the phone. You talk to them on the phone. Be playful, be fun, be cute, be girly. Let them be excited to finally be able to meet you one day, you know? So have those conversations going and be very playful and be very fun with that. And try to build that friendly vibe and the friendly connection. So don't just start off with that kind of attitude that all men are dogs and they should see me for what I am and blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. Nope, nobody owes you to see you exactly how you are when they don't even know who you are, right? So don't expect too much from the world. If you have that kind of mindset, then you really have a lot of inner work to do. So do that first before you dwell into the dating pool because that's gonna be really tough for you. Don't be very quick to cut off anybody just because you've just talked two days and now all of a sudden they have not replied uh, for a few hours, let's say. It's okay, okay? Let that connection be built. If it doesn't, no problem. There will always be somebody else for you. But all I'm saying is please do give it time and don't be so quick to cut off everybody because that's always a mistake and then you might miss on some great people out there. But just because they were not very prompt at replying, you basically just decided to cut them off just because you are a little insecure or a little impatient? Hmm, think about that. And you know what the fun fact is? Research shows that women who stay single for longer periods of times have been those women who actually were really quick at cutting off every single person. Ouch, that kind of hurts. Always remember that dating or even the process of getting to know someone is a numbers game. Sometimes it's also a timing game. You know, sometimes you meet the right people at the right time, bingo. Sometimes it's the right time but the wrong people sometimes it's the right people but like a really wrong time it does happen so therefore you're going to give people some time whatever anybody's true colors are you will know within a few days within a few weeks you know everybody shows their true colors very soon anyway so you never know who will last just one day no problem who will last maybe one week oops no problem and who you will finally then eventually be able to really meet and build that connection even further from there also Number three, put less pressure on yourself. When you go into this dating you know, pool thinking, oh my God, you have to hurry, you have to rush, just because there's so much pressure on your mind, you're really going to attract the wrong kind of situations for yourself and it's never really gonna work out for you because you're really giving off a lot of desperate vibes. So go into this process almost like you're building friends, like kind of like you're networking. That will be the best mindset to have because it takes the pressure off of you and it takes the pressure off of making you believe how much single you still are oh my god you got a rush you're still single what a shame blah 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 so you don't want pressure on that part of you let that go here's also a fun fact guys hardly ever put this kind of pressure on themselves when they're dating their approach is often very casual and trust they never have problems finding girls you know why because they don't feel that kind of pressure they don't have any pressure if they want a girl trust me they'll find her <laughs> So you please also take it easy and have fun in the process. Have fun getting ready, making yourself cute and pretty, talking to someone and finally being able to meet somebody to build a better connection. Just have fun with the process. There's nothing wrong in that. Talk, be lively, be funny, and remember it's a numbers game. 
and timing game also number four don't be too honest too soon now what i mean by that is again as i said no need to have your locations on your descriptions or bio okay let them figure it out where you're from slowly slowly it, it should be a process also when i'm talking about honesty can some of you guys please just stop telling these guys too quickly that you've been just divorced that you just had a breakup that you've just gone through this, that your, your, your father has just passed away a few days ago, or this, no, 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 can you stop that? Like, I really, truly mean that. Like, if you want sympathy or maybe somebody there to listen to you, then go to a friend. If you are wanting to date with uh, some sort of potential in mind, which leads to marriage, then don't have this approach where you tell them your painful stories way too soon. Like, and you ladies sometimes say, I, I'm just being honest, I just want to, I want him to know everything about me, so I just want to be honest. You don't owe a stranger any sort of honesty about your deep problems. D does that make sense? Think about it. No guy ever feels obliged to actually tell you their true whole life story within two meetings. They don't do that because they're smart. Why are you doing that again? Another reason you should not do that is because when you try to connect with somebody from a level of pain, you know, you're telling a painful story so they can connect with that pain. That is oftentimes not a very healthy connection to start with in the first place. Because that dynamics just is very painful. As soon as you start becoming happier in life, that partner may not be on the same level as you because it started off with connecting with each other's pain. You know, and now one person or the other eventually becomes happy and okay and not healthy and normal again. Then the other one feels a little confused. So I would never advise anybody to start off with like their painful, you know, stories and stuff, because if you're trying to make people connect with you on that painful level, then it will be really hard for you to shift that to a happier level later on, you know? So just keep that crap saved up for your friends or just for yourself, if that makes sense. And you'll be better off that way. Trust me. Tip number five, when you finally meet the guy now, let's talk. Please, can you like not go alone? Please always let one or two or three of your friends, just let them know, okay? Whoever you trust, even if it's your siblings, whoever you trust, let them know that you're going to this place, you're going to meet this person, you know, just for your safe side. You never know what happens. As I said in the beginning of this video, people are crack, people are crazy, okay? You never know who you come across. Like, be ready, be safe. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but you know how it goes, right? And that is why also my very first point was to build a connection with communication. Because once you have those lines of communication going, there's a little bit of that friendship going, take your time in that process, weeks, even months if you really have to. And then when, when you finally meet, it's more like a safer situation. Whereas if it's somebody totally strange, then you really never know what kind of waters you're getting yourself into, right? So build that connection first. And then finally, after a good while, when you meet, it would be a lot more pleasant for you. And you will be a lot more excited to meet each other and you also kind of created that bond with each other through some distance which is always very mysterious also fun playful so that will make it very exciting for you to finally meet each other but when you do let your friends know that you know you're going to this place or meeting this person or whatever you have to do that you have to have like a support system in place you know even if you don't trust your friends at least let your sister know or your brother know or whatever you have to do something okay and what i would also suggest is when you finally meet that person can you like maybe not go alone mm, take a friend with you trust me if it's a healthy normal individual they're not gonna mind that okay even if you don't have a third person sitting with you guys it doesn't have to be that way all i'm saying is have somebody pick and drop you like wherever you have decided to meet have your family member or like your best friend drop you to that place and pick you up from that place also and let them know what time that way you're gonna stay very very safe and that is also the point of this video i want you girls to be very safe so whatever you post online it has to be discreet mysterious and elegant not too much information out there so you stay safe when you meet you actually have a support system you have somebody at the back so you stay safe okay so make the whole process safe for you and that's how you will be able to build connection and then see what works and what doesn't work and who's right and who's not right. You will learn a lot about yourself in the process and also a lot about communication in this process and a lot about other human beings in the process. You will also learn what you like in people and what you don't like in people. You will also learn what you like about yourself 
and what you don't like at all. You, you always learn so much when you start meeting different people and when you start networking with people and you never know when you find your husband. Who knows, right? <laughs> so I wish you girls all the best. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, smash the like button, hit subscribe and comment below and let me know which city are you from and are you dating right now or are you not? What other tips would you like to give the other girls? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, take care of your well-being.